We currently have a list of images thumbnails in React Native. We're going to switch this to a React Native paper card. Open the styles.tsx file here. We're going to create a list container for the list. We'll set the flex. To one, we'll justify the content to center. Line the items to center. We'll make the background color white. The next step is to apply the styles that we created right here into the list photos styles component. For the list photos component, I will apply the style. So we're in list photos here. And we'll scroll down. We find the return. And we have the styles here, which initially was the container. But we'll do the newly created style list container that we just created. Then we'll scroll back up to the top here. We will import some React Native paper components. We we'll use their avatar button card. We're going to call the React Native paper com text component text, TX, just so that it doesn't conflict with the React Native text component. And these will all be from React Native paper. And remember, you can go to the React Native Paper documentation here and find the component and the documentation and how to use it. Or we can just use it right here. So let's go down to line 51, at least on my editor, where you're unwrapping files.map from the list of items that you're getting from the API. So we'll create a constant for left content. And we'll use the avatar from React Native Paper. And we'll start off with a text icon here. Then we'll look down into the map output. And after on pressed, we currently have this image here, how the information is laid out. So we'll use a card, put the card title in. will be our avatar. We do have the avatar here, the avatar being from the 
left content here, which is the I am. So if I want to change it, it's like RP. We'll change it. So let's go back to the card content here. So we've got the title. And we'll make the card content. And we'll use the text that we just created. We're starting to fill it out here. I, we have the item name now. And I just realized that the card, maybe I have to force the width. So we'll try it right here. Subtract 38 pixels from the width of the screen. Okay. Wonder what happens if I comment this out temporarily. Okay, we still have the date time here. There's also a card cover, card cover. And the value has been returned. It has a thumbnail URL. Nice. I've been connected to a physical device, Rico Theta Z1, right now. And we can test it out with some real estate shots here. Takes a moment to come in, bring it over. It's still an echo rectangular. We can put this into the 360 view in the future. You can see how it looks with real photos. 
directly from the camera. Pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice. This is a, a great tangent, or it's me and my computer screen. And uh, it's a live preview here. You take the shot. The live preview stops temporarily while it's taking the picture. And it took the picture of me working on my computer screen. And. Yeah, it looks good. This is the fifth video in the series to teach you how to use React Native Paper, these beautiful components. It's based on the tutorial here from Mr. Babate Ulosegun. He said to call him Segun. So this gentleman here, Babate Ulosegun. And it's based off of the Rico Theta open source SDK called Theta Client.